So guys, we are already into double figures. Part 10. I mean, the game literally came out on Tuesday. And these episodes have been fairly long. And they take a lot of time to record. A lot of time to render and upload. I've already done 10 episodes. That is kind of crazy. Hope you guys are still enjoying these videos. If you guys could be awesome and leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. Check out the game. Linked in the description. Right, so the plan is uh, we want to buy a new truck. Not find a new truck. We actually want to buy a new truck. So I'm going to go all the way to off-road. And look at this. The International Paystar 5070 off-road truck. Oh, yes. Built for off-road. 56-inch tires. That's stock. That is incredible. Whoa, 57? Damn, they're big. Uh, if you go to the, the Fleet Star... It's 42 inches and it's a heavy duty truck, which is fine, but we want to upgrade. I think it's time. We probably should have done this probably episode five or six. So if you guys are watching this, I recommend doing this probably as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, I didn't do it, I guess. But we need to make some money. So let's quickly double check. Is it 83,000? Yeah, 83,000 we need. And ideally we want some money for upgrades as well. So... We're going to go to the truck storage. These are all the vehicles I have currently that I don't want. So I'm keeping the fleet stuff for now. And I'm keeping the Khan 39. I can't sell that. No way. And I can't sell the fleet star just yet. Maybe in the future. Who knows? Who knows? But for now, definitely not. So we go to truck storage. We can sell. That's the, the Chevy we found recently. Which is not the original Chevy we got. It's worth 12000 So that's still pretty decent. We're going to sell it. That's the first time I've ever sold one of our vehicles. The Scout 800 looks amazing. It's actually not that great, to be honest. Compared to the Khan, it's just not as good. It's all right, but we're going to sell it. 14,000 or 14.17,000. 14 hmm. The GMC is worth $34,000. That's a lot of money. So we're going to sell it. <laughs> we don't need it. It's not very good. It doesn't have all-wheel drive at all. It's just not good enough. So we are going to sell it. Uh, do we have enough yet? We don't. This is the original starting vehicle. The original. And I'm selling it. I know it's sad. I know. Another vehicle we found. Uh, the C70. Worth almost 35000 Sell it. Don't need it. Bye-bye. And now the most recent vehicle we found. The International Transtar 4070A. Which is great for highways, for tarmac. But this game, there's a lot. A lot of off-roading. And this truck just can't cope. It cannot cope. So we are going to sell it. Sorry. I'm really sorry. So we now have... Wow. 171,000. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So we're going to go to off-road, and we're going to buy it. The Paystar is now mine. So I'm not going to lie, uh, this vehicle is not the prettiest. Um, it's a bit boxy, just generally it's just ugly. It's an ugly looking vehicle, but it is a serious off-road vehicle, and that is exactly what we need. We've needed it for so long. I'd say at least five episodes, to be honest. It's been too long. Far too long. Uh, no engine upgrades. Can upgrade the gearbox. Find the item in Alaska, the high-ranged gearbox. Ray suspension again in Alaska. Ooh, we do have all-terrain tires. Hmm. Only 46 inches though. That's the max you can go to. I think that's a good idea. That's a good that's that's a good purchase. Very good purchase. Uh winch. Only got stock at the moment. Differential is engageable. Perfect. We can purchase a spare wheel. I mean, we've got a bit of money right now. So, yeah. I think that's a good idea. In case we lose a wheel, we lose a lot of traction, a lot of power. We need the wheel. Definitely. So, that's currently locked at level 16. But we can buy a air filter. Does that... Yeah, so that's what pops up. I guess it's not particularly that high. But it should help a little bit. Provides a little to no increase in submersion depth. Oh, great. So now we've got to decide on what uh, frame add-on we go for. I was tempted by the loading crane 
and a flatbed, but that does not seem to be available right now, which is a slight worry. Because uh, that was what I was going to go for, to be honest. So I might just go for a flatbed for now. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that was not quite my... um. Yeah, I wasn't quite planning on that, but okay. Uh, rooftop. What do we have? We've got a triple horn. What the... What is that? <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Why not? Screw it. I've gone for it. Uh, front bumper. We do have... I've got one variant. I mean, does it make it look even more ugly? Potentially, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> okay. Cabin protector. Makes sense in case that we get empowered by a pipe. That does make a lot of sense. We've got a little flat cap. Uh, heat shielded. That's the stock. So, yeah, we definitely want to try and improve that. Flat cap looks good. Got two options in terms of rims. Definitely prefer the second set, I reckon. Yeah. Second set it is. Do we have any decals that tempt me? I must admit, the red one looks pretty sweet. The red stripe. Or the red with the, the, white, the white stripe. That, that's what I mean. Right, so I think I've worked out what we're doing next. We are now back in Black River. And we are delivering a heavy fuel tanker semi-trailer all the way to the factory which is all the way over here also delivering two bricks and one metal planks that is the goal of the episode so uh, let's get to it let's get it done i am a bit nervous because i'm really hoping this truck delivers it's going to be in some very tricky situations but fingers crossed Fingers crossed we can do this. I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Can it deliver? I mean, this first bit is already a test. I know how muddy this is. This bit on the right. And the fleet style used to struggle so much. It was with highway tyres. That's a good point. But, um, yeah, we're going to the gas station first. That is where we are going first, my friends. Fairly impressive. Uphill as well. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I've been seeing this recommendation in the comments quite a bit. I was like, yeah, we should we should do this. We should definitely get a more off-road centric truck. So that's exactly what we've done. Again, the looks aren't great. But the, the, I don't think many trucks look that great, to be honest. So it just looks slightly more ugly. <laughs> Even these rocks, it's just chewing them up. Well, pretty much. I mean, they're pretty big rocks, to be honest. And differential is not locked. That was pretty impressive. The fleet style would have definitely got stuck there. Very, very intriguing. I am excited. I am very, very excited. So, I want to do a bit of a vote in the comments. Um, either the next episode or the episode after, should we go to Alaska? Should we go to the snow? Let me know in the comments. I'm very intrigued. I want your feedback, basically. Um, or should we try and do Michigan? Try and 100% it? Or should we go to Russia? It's, yeah, up to you. Leave, like, a comment. Uh, if you see someone that's done the comment as well, give it, like, a little thumbs up. Uh, that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, I want, like, a sort of... Uh, I don't want to, like, just jump the gun and go, Yes, we're doing this! And then people don't want to see that. So I don't, I don't want to do that. That scares me. So this is what we need. Yeah, that is... Uh, that's pretty big. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Oh, man. So I guess we just... I like how it moves as well when we approach. It's like, whoa, it's getting a bit nervous. Attach. Oh, my. That is humongous. Look at that. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? It's probably full of fuel as well. Great. But well, I've got to work out a route here. Um, good point, good point. So we follow this route here. Luckily, we've done bridges. We've got rid of massive boulders and stuff like that. So that's a positive. Actually, take that back. Keep going along here. So we take that the long way round. And then this is obviously quite unknown. We don't know where we're going after this. I'm guessing it, it loops around this way. Yeah, that is the, uh, that's the route. That, this is going to be long. <laughs> Not only that, we have to then deliver... If we track this quest as well. 
Is it bricks and metal planks? So, yeah, we're not even done. <laughs> we are we are definitely not done. No, no, no. Definitely not. Let's get to it. Man, this is uh, pretty big. I can't even see the whole trailer. What the? Again, this is full of fuel. Oh, gee, this is heavy. This is real heavy. This is um this is going to be a test, a serious serious test. An extreme test. I can't imagine how heavy that is. It must be ridiculous. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Again, also I can't thank you guys enough for your support. It's actually quite overwhelming um to have a series do this well again like it's it's so cool and a game like this that i can i really enjoy there's content that's coming out for this game as well there's so much to do and i'm absolutely loving every second it's such a challenge it's so relaxing and scary at the same time and i get so nervous because i want to do well for the videos i want to deliver as well i want to drive well i don't want to make any mistakes i want to do good basically also someone said I keep driving on the wrong side of the road e that's probably happening actually yeah I do live in the UK so that's probably the reason for that I apologize I think it's perfect time oh for a horn yeah baby oh yeah coming through right, so we keep following this road right Keep it going. This is insane. This is by far the biggest delivery we have made so far. The heaviest, the most challenging delivery yet. The longest. That's what she said. This is the, the biggest, the biggest delivery yet. And we are Amazon Prime. We deliver, my friends. We've got this really bad delivery firm in the UK. It's called Hermes. I am not Hermes, okay? I am premium priority delivery. I am top notch. I'm so going to roll it now, aren't I? I'm so going to roll it. It's so going to happen. Keep following this road. Do we go this way? Just want to double check. Uh, we can probably go either way, but this might be... I want to go to the Watchtower actually as well at some point. So, yeah, but I want to get this, this pipe dream definitely done in this episode, which is definitely going to be a little bit time consuming, but I want to get it done. I want to get it done. And I'm going to try and avoid, I did see a few comments about me playing the game outside the videos. I'm going to try and avoid doing that, um, unless it's perhaps get to a certain destination for the video. So you guys were, oh, we want to see everything. Don't cut anything out and yeah. I get it, I get it. So far, though, I'm impressed. We are kicking ass. The fleet star would be struggling right now. It would be really struggling. Very, very impressed. What can I say? It's also speeding up deliveries as well. There's a big rock. It didn't care, though. It's not even a raised suspension. It's not even the got. It hasn't even got the best wheels. Very impressed. All wheel drive definitely needed here. Come on! Just saw a sign for the factory. We are going the right way. Good, good. Yeah, I guess who's coming? I'm hoping there's no blocked paths. I mean, this is uncharted territory, so we haven't been here before. Um, to be honest, the best advice I've got if you guys are jumping into the game is once you appear, once you arrive in a new map, um, I would go to all the watchtowers first. And then next after that, I would probably get all the roads fixed. So all the bridges, all the roadblocks, get those sorted out ASAP. And then start doing quests. That's what I would do, personally. Probably the best bet. Yeah, I think that's 
that, that's, a, that's a good call, I think. It's starting to rain. Uh oh. Right, so this is objective number one. I believe the factory is just around the corner, so we might get it done very, very soon. I think the factory is just there. Look at that little bridge. That's tiny. Pathetic. Close. We're definitely close. Then we need metal planks and two bricks. We have arrived. Nicely done. What is that? That's not a trailer, right? That looks like a trailer to me. Uh, <laughs> I don't actually want to know what that is. Right, is this where we drop it off? I think we're done, guys. I think we did that. Detach. It is done. Yeah, now it's just the bricks and the metal planks. So let's work out a good strategy for this. Hmm. What do we do? Got another little contract here. Local entertainment. Do I want to go to the watchtower as well? Apparently there's something here we could grab. A scout flatbed. Might have something on it that we need. Right, so what I've done, I've gone back to the farm. And I've got a flatbed semi-trailer which has five slots available. So if my calculations are correct, uh, metal planks takes up two slots and bricks takes up two slots. So we should have enough slots. So we're going to go to the warehouse. Trying to work out the best route here. I mean, that's the quickest route, but it's a little bit more severe. Uh, we, we can do it. We can do it. It'll be fine. So go this way, up here, up there, get to the warehouse, ASAP, done. Must admit, I'm now trying to work out why I didn't buy this truck sooner. Like, why didn't I? Why? Why? This is such a good truck. And I'm sure there is better trucks, don't get me wrong. But this is impressive. Yes, it can still get stuck, for sure. But it's going to take a lot more to get it stuck. A lot more. Or just my horrific driving. Oh, this will be a test. The fleet start absolutely... It's still struggling. Okay. It still struggles a little bit. It keeps chomping, though. It keeps going. I mean, the diff's still not even locked yet. Just try it with the diff locked. It keeps going. It keeps pulling. I, I can just tell, like, when we hit, like, a bit of mud, it, it can just... If it has momentum, it just keeps going. Which is super impressive. I mean, this is the most soggiest bit. I should have gone there, around there to the right. But it's still chomping through it. I got stuck here so many times. It's still going. It doesn't care. Yes, it's getting a little bit deep. <laughs> yeah, that is worrying me a little bit. Uh, if the wall gets higher, I mean, generally the truck's quite high anyway, but that is an issue. That is a worry. That's not very high, is it? That snorkel's pretty much useless. I mean, it even told me when I bought it. it this doesn't help. <laughs> this really doesn't help. There's no point buying it. And we have a very big trailer, by the way, like a massive trailer. Might need a little bit of help here. Whoop. There we go a tiny bit. Keep us going. It's still chomping though. Still chomping. I'd love to see the difference between this and mud tires. Like a sort of direct comparison. I might do that at some point. Like sort of showing the differences in speed. Of course even with mud tires you're going to get stuck. Like It's still going to be quite slow. But probably not as slow. Right, so we want to try and go left there. It's a bit of a risk but it's definitely the most direct route. And it is uphill. You can see, as soon as the mud goes, it just keeps going. This is hilly. Got a heavy trader as well. We ain't messing. We ain't messing. We are not messing about at all. Let's get to this warehouse. Let's go! I lock the diff again. This is hilly. Very hilly. Come on! I think I've got a new favourite truck. It didn't take much, did it? I knew, I knew it wouldn't. 
the flea star might be the truck of the past. No, I'm sure it will be useful in some way. I might put like a crane onto it or something like that, potentially. It's definitely good to have a couple of trucks. At least. A couple of scout vehicles. Oh, all good, all good. Oh, it's still going. I was about to say that. Do we enter lock the diff here? We were sinking. It was incredibly hilly. And it was like, nah. I don't, I don't need any help. I'm fine. I'm more than fine. This is so good. I'm so happy. I've got a smile on my face the whole time. What a truck. <laughs> we are literally... We got past that so quick. It used to take me so long. Screw you! I shot this ages ago. I reckon around part four, five, maybe even six, we could afford this. And I didn't buy it. I know. Blasphemy. Terrible. I'm a terrible human being. There we go. There we go. Right, anyway, the warehouse. Hopefully my plan works. Uh, two bricks and one metal planks, please. And I want it tied down real tight. Real tight indeed. We have arrived. And now we go to the factory. This job would have taken me so much longer with the fleet star. So much longer. Right, so we need, yep, two bricks. One, two. So I hope we've still got some space back there. And metal planks. Done. Oh, we've got quite a heavy load. It's getting quite muddy. I don't care. Okay, as soon as I said that, it stopped. But hey, look at it. Yes. This is what I've been dreaming of for so long. Yeah, we're carrying a lot of materials right now. Got to be careful of tipping. Got to be careful of water. That's my main concern right now, really. My own, my only real, real concern, I guess. Tipping over and water. Oh, concentrate. This is a drop. It can be really tempting to just floor it, but you really can't do that. Oh, there's water. Uh-oh. Oh no. I didn't know that. Oh shoot. Oh damn. This might be bad. <sighs> okay. This will be interesting. Hmm. Okay, we should take in a different route here. How deep does this go? It looks deep to me. I think we're okay. Okay. Oof. It's not even slowing down. I love you. Nope. Was that our changing? Changing gear is fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. We are an international truck. Yes. Beautiful. And there's the uh, the missing oil trailer. But I might come back and get. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see. I want to get to that watchtower. That's for sure. Keep on going. I wonder if there's more uh, like a sort of advanced off-road trailers. Is that a thing? Is it just like a Bob standard trailer? Whatever it is. Two wheels or four wheels. And that's it. I think for the water, we're done. It coped really well. Okay, there's still a bit of water to go. I'll take that back. Turn the lights on, just in case I forget. I always forget the lights. Uh, a lot of questions about how I turn the lights on. It's LB and then B. So yeah, that's how you do it. Keep it going. Let's give a winch here. Oh, that tree's gone. Ooh, what's happened here? Let's lock the diff, baby! Ooh. 
No, please don't get stuck now. Why would you randomly get stuck there? Uh, get out a little bit. I don't know what I've attached to, but it does seem to be helping. So even an off-road truck, you can easily get stuck. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Come on! Keep going! This bit has been a bit slow, but... I mean... It's always going to happen. I meant something to do that. I, I winch up and I sort of literally just drive towards the tree. It's not advisable. For obvious reasons. Also, this truck can take a beating. I've hit a barrier and it was like... It just didn't care. It didn't remotely care. It took no damage whatsoever. Which is kind of insane, to be honest. Right, how are we doing on the map? Once we get past the, these next couple of trails here, these muddy roads, we're good. We're golden. Not quite there yet, though. Oh, don't you dare tip. Don't you dare. I will cry otherwise. Ooh. Try a winchy winch. Oh, there we go. Slight little bubble almost in the road. Just made it a little bit uneven. Come on. I'm not sure that was the best for me to take. It, it felt pretty, pretty rough, to be honest. But we got through it. 102 litres of fuel left. We are burning through that fuel. We are so close to tarmac. Come on. Come to Papa. I will not give up on this pipe dream. I really won't. <laughs> I really won't. I would never give up. Yep, factory to the right. Come on. Keep it going! We just came around this corner with a massive oil tanker. I don't know what's heavier. I'm guessing this. Just because of the sheer amount of bricks. Those metal planks are not going to be cheap. Uh, cheap. Uh, light even. Or cheap. <laughs> I'm sure. Yes! Tarmac! I'm so pleased! Yay! We did it! Yes, yes, yes! This is a big delivery, and we're getting it done pretty quick. Where normally it would take me a whole episode to do. Well, don't crash now, please. Oh, I hate when it does that. Yeah, it normally take a whole episode for me to do. It's taking me like maybe half an episode. Pretty impressive. Very impressive. Obviously, the trailer helped, for sure. But the truck helped out massively. Massively. Found the right way still. Yeah. Not far to go now. And the pipe dream will be completed. A lot of XP, a lot of money. These big jobs, they do reward you pretty well. Now I've got to try and work out what I want to buy next. I'm guessing when we unlock, I think the, the big unlocks are around maybe level 12. So I'd have time to save up. Also, it seems like when you buy a vehicle, it doesn't tend to lose much value. So that's a positive. So I could sell this vehicle, for example, and still get a lot of my money back. And there is the factory. Yay! We did it, guys! Yeah! Woo! Easy! Easy! Deliver! And begin. Yes! The factory is now officially open for business. 
So we head over to the factory now. It was actually closed before, I didn't realise. Factory... It now, what's that? Spare parts and maybe vehicle parts or something like that? Woo! That is sweet. I am happy with that. Right, I'm just going to drop off this trailer over here. And we're going to go off and explore this wonderful world. Right, detach it. Let's get going. I'll come back for you, I promise. So where's the next sort of pipe dream? What's the next quest? So I've got not a drill. So I've got to take two metal planks, one oil rig drill, and one construction rig semi-trailer to the drilling site. What the? That's kind of crazy. Ah, so the trailer's actually here. I've got to take that. Ah, okay. I mean, I'm here now. Do I have the right saddle for it? It looks like maybe it needs a higher saddle. I've got a low one. I got a feeling this might not work. Let's have a look. Nope, it needs a higher saddle. Damn it! <laughs> Why? Why are you so annoying? Damn you. I knew it. Uh, right, anyway, we're going to go to the watchtower. Uh, the best route for this... Hmm. Either go through the centre here. Or take this route up here. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I don't know. I guess we should just explore and find out. Yep, have the wrong saddle. How annoying is that? Oh, one sec. I believe... I'm pretty sure... I was over here a second ago. Ah, I know what I did. I fueled up and I was like, oh, maybe you can do it um, at factories and stuff. It's because I was near a, a tanker. I can't do it here. <laughs> Whoops. Where's the nearest gas station? Uh, let's get to the watch. We should have enough to get to the watchtower, he says. Famous last words. Sixty-five liters. It's going to be tight again, isn't it? Oh no! Anytime I see water with this vehicle, I panic. Oh, that's that's pretty deep. It's okay though. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not deep enough. I see the watchtower. I see it. And yes, I keep getting comments like Scott, you can skip. Uh, you can skip time. Yes, I know that. But again, I like I like the challenge. In life. You have to truck sometimes at night. That's just how it works. My lights are on. There's nothing more I can do right now. I've got to keep on trucking. You can't just skip time. I mean, you could do. You go to sleep, I guess. That's a good point. A lot of truckers sleep in their, in their trucks. Keep going. Must be this does look very muddy. Again, I'm trying to work out. I think we probably took the wrong approach. Should have gone through the middle. Uh, <laughs> why? Why, why, why? I can't go that way, surely. Where does this even lead to? Does it lead anywhere? I'm going to keep going round, but do I want to keep going round? I'm going to run out of fuel, aren't I? Yay! Fantastic! I mean, there's water and then there's this. This is ridiculous. An actual stream of water just flowing towards me. Yeah, this is not... We are not going... We're not getting closer, are we? Damn you, Watchtower! For one sec. No, we're not. It must be a route, surely. It's got to be a route up. 38 litres. We're going to run out again. Oh, there's a route just here. Okay. At least we've got a target. At least there's a target. But we are burning about 
10 litres of fuel per minute. Does that need to be on? No, it's fine. He says, come on. Let's try and stand second. Uh, keep going. It's so muddy. It's ridiculous. This is where you need mud tyres. <laughs> These sort of situations. Thirty litres left. And this is where we start to climb up. Which means we burn more fuel, but at least we're going in the right direction. I think it's this way anyway. Yeah. Please don't be muddy. Looks like fairly firm ground. 27 litres. Can we make it? It's happening again. How do I do this? How do I run out of fuel every time? What I should have done is put up next to that tanker fueled up and then delivered the materials that's what I should have done I'm an idiot I can confirm sit keep going this is hilly that's probably the steepest slope I think I've gone up so far 22 litres we should be touch wood we should be okay we should arrive We've done it. We've actually done it. I was not convinced. But we did it. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. I'm so pleased. Oh, there's the factory. We actually did it. <clears throat> so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Leave a like on it. And I will see you guys very soon. I'm so pleased. We made that watchtower. I was so worried. Thank you guys for watching. Be safe and bye-byes.